even the Daleks. But what about this one? This character was called Darin, and the other monster is being modeled by Doreen. Thank you, Doreen. The pleasure's mine, I'm sure. Doreen, are you all right? Well, sometimes it's not just a head, but a whole body. And we found an extract from a 1970s film about the making of a really horrible rat. It's only going to be on the screen for a few seconds, but it's got to be completely realistic, right down to the nose and the whiskers. I think I hope we can have more mechanical air than that. It's hard work. It soon looks like with some fur, I'm sure. Yes. Costume designer John Bloomfield also devised the giant rat for the talons of Wang Chiang. Now that's the center point. It's got a He's working here with his assistant, Jerry Scott, who recently retired from designing costumes at Glyndebourne. God, it's going to be quite heavy. It is. I don't want too long a tail. We've got too long a piece. When we decided we were going so. to tackle a rat, we thought we would solve it by a number of ways. One way would be to actually have real rats in a model sewers, which we will use certain shots of. Um, but we wanted the rat to actually perform specific actions. It actually has to get hold of somebody's leg. It has to, as it were, act on cue. Now, the only way of solving that really is to actually put somebody inside a costume and get them to perform. So it fell to John to design the costume. One of the perennial problems of a, a monster, whether they are a speaking monster or whether they are simply an articulating monster, is, the, is to get a believability in the way they actually move, uh, particularly the jaw movement. And uh, in this case, I think John came up with a very simple but effective solution of totally detaching the lower jaw of the rat and attaching it to a, a sort of rugby scrum cap, which the actor wore inside the mouth of the rat. So you've got great, a great degree of movement. Do you think someone thinks it off yesterday? This morning. Ten minutes ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Add your hands down too, for that matter. Down here? Yes. Because ostensibly your hands are in water.